Hello, my name is Don Metzger. This video gives a brief introduction to using the Analog Devices ADRV9009 transceiver chip and Quick Systems Quick Tools software for doing 4G LTE signals. Quick Systems has several applications which can be used with a variety of Analog Devices eval boards. In this video, we will create a transmit waveform using Quick Generator. Then we will transmit and receive that signal using an ADRV9009 eval board using Quick Transceiver. Here is the board setup that we will be using. The digital board is a ZC706 board from Xilinx. Here's the eval board with the ADRV9009. Here's the SD card that we have loaded with the correct boot profile. We have an Ethernet connection and a USB cable to a Windows laptop running PuTTY, which we will use as a terminal connection to the Xilinx board. I have an SMA cable between transmit channel 1 and receive channel 1, and a 10 dB attenuator in line, although that is optional. Finally, I have a small fan to keep the ADRV9009 chip cool. After the boot process for the ZC706 is complete, I use the PuTTY terminal connection to tell the board to use dynamic IP addressing rather than static addressing, which is the default. The command is dhclient eth0-v. Note the IP address that is assigned. We will use it later to connect to the eval system over the network. Let's start up the quick generator application. On the main menu, select Windows and then Active Windows. This brings up a dialog that allows us to choose which windows will be displayed. Make sure both checkboxes are checked. After applying these choices, go to the main toolbar and hit the Arrange Windows button. This will snap the windows into an evenly distributed pattern in the main window frame. On the main menu, select Generator and LTE. In the LTE control dialog, make sure that Random is selected for the type of bits, PUSCH is selected for the signal type, the bandwidth is 20 MHz, the cyclic prefix is normal, the modulation is 16 QAM, and we are set to make one subframe. Make sure that the transmitter on button on the main toolbar is not highlighted. Click the start button. This creates the IQ waveform. The sample rate of the created waveform for LTE is 30.72 megasamples per second. When we use the ADRV9009 eval board, we will need to have a sample rate that is compatible with the available baseband configurations. Let's interpolate our waveform to create a waveform on a sample rate of 122.88 megasamples per second. On the main menu, select Generator and Output Processing. Set the interpolation rate to 4. You can note the input and output sample rates which are displayed in the dialog. Once again, click the Start button on the main toolbar. Now that we have the waveform that we want, at the sample rate that we want, we can save it using the Save button on the main toolbar. Next, let's shut down the Quick Generator application and start up the Quick Transceiver application. We use Quick Transceiver because we are both transmitting and receiving using a single transceiver chip. On the main menu, select Windows and then Active Windows. For active windows, we will choose Acquired Waveform, Acquired Spectrum, Constellation, OFDM EVM, and Measured Results. Once again, click the Arrange Windows button on the main toolbar to evenly distribute the windows. Quick Transceiver works with various analog devices eval boards, so we need to tell the application which device we are using and how to communicate with the device. On the main menu, select Instrument and Connection. In the dialog, make sure that the ADRV9009 is selected and IIO over LAN as the connection type. Here's where we type in the IP address for the Xilinx board which resulted from dynamic IP addressing. Next, let's choose an input waveform file. Find and select the file that was created previously using Quick Generator. After choosing an input file, the dialog displays various parameters for the data in the file. Because the waveform file was created using Quick Generator, it contains information about the signal type in the file. 
If the checkbox near the top of the dialog is checked, then Quick Transceiver will automatically set itself up to transmit and receive this waveform, including the type of demodulation which will be used. On the main menu, choose Instrument and ADRV900X Control. Let's set the transmitter channel and the receiver channel numbers both to 1. Let's transmit with 30 dB of attenuation for the transmitter and receive with 20 dB of gain for the receiver. Let's set the number of samples for the receiver to 200,000. Also, let's transmit and receive at 2 GHz. At the bottom of the dialog is the baseband configuration. This was automatically set when we selected the transmitter file because the checkbox was checked in that dialog. In this dialog, you can select from a number of configurations which come installed with Quick Transceiver. The baseband configuration sets the transmit and receive sample rates and creates filter settings inside the ADRV9009 which are compatible with those sample rates. When the instrument settings are complete, press the Apply and Close button. The LTE demodulator expects an input sample rate of 30.72 megasamples per second but the baseband configuration is set for 122.88 megasamples per second. Let's use receiver waveform processing to adjust the sample rate. On the main menu, choose processing and receiver waveform processing. Set the decimation rate to 4. This will reduce the sample rate of the received IQ data down to the desired 30.72 megasamples per second. The final step that we will perform is to set the repeat type. On the main menu, choose Processing and then Repeat. Make sure that the repeat type is set to Continuous. On the main toolbar, make sure that the Transmitter On and Receiver On buttons are pressed. Then click the Start button. This will begin the Transmit and Receive operations. It can take several seconds to load the baseband configuration in the transceiver chip. The status bar at the bottom of the main window lets us know when it is done. The plot in the top left is a time domain view of the data acquired by the receiver. It is set to display as power versus time. The plot in the bottom left is the spectrum of that same acquired data. In the top middle, we can see the final symbols after demodulation. In this case, it shows a 16 QAM constellation. In the bottom middle, we can see the EVM versus subcarrier for the LTE signal. In the top right, we can see various measured results for the acquired waveform, like occupied bandwidth, ESNO, and EVM. There are numerous options for the plots and the signal processing, which you can now explore on your own. After I have the program running the way that I want, I usually stop the execution and save the startup settings. To stop, click the Stop button on the main toolbar. On the main menu, select File and Save Startup Settings. This will save all the parameters of the program, so that the next time that I use Quick Transceiver, it will be correctly set up, and I won't have to go through all the dialogs like we did previously. To obtain a copy of Quick Transceiver, Quick Generator, or Quick Receiver, visit quicksystems.com and download the applications. After installing, you can request an activation code by sending an email message to sales at quicksystems.com. Thanks for your time.